Ella Knight. I'm a speech pathologist working here at Maryborough District Health Service um, and I've been working here for the past two, two and a bit years um, and I started here um, straight out of university so I graduated and this was my first position. Um, I was at uni for four years um, and we were the pioneer or the, the guinea pig year um, coming out of Bendigo University. Um, we, yeah, we were the first year to graduate. Um, it was only available um, closer to me um, via La Trobe in Bandura. Um, and yeah, it was the first year that it came um, to Bendigo when I started, which was nice. I didn't want to move, so if it wasn't that it had have come to Bendigo, I would have chose something else. So we work with children um, around their speech. Typical things that we hear, you know, lisp. Um, there's lots of other things that we do as well. It might be that they might be changing some sounds cat to tat, cow to tow, all those kind of things. If they're saying them incorrectly, we can get them saying the sounds correctly um, with a lot of help from mum and dad. Um, we also work on children's language. So if they're late to start talking, um, we can help mum and dad give them some ideas for tips at home to, to get Joe or Billy talking a bit more. Um, and then we can also work with children who are a little bit older if they're, say, saying broke rather than broke or they're not using their grammar correctly or not forming their sentences correctly, we can do work around that. Um, we do lots of playing, lots and lots of playing with the kids. We play lots of games, so that's really good. Um, and then we can work also around fluency or stuttering, which is another common one. We can do that and then we can also work um, around swallowing. So if both children and adults, so if, if young kids or, or babies are having difficulty feeding, breastfeeding, um, we can do some work around that and then also um, with older people who may have had a stroke and they're having difficulty swallowing normal drinks or they're having difficulty chewing their food, we can provide modifications and things like that. And the reason I, I decided to become a speech pathologist was because I really enjoyed working with kids. I enjoyed being around kids, um, interacting with them, playing with them um, and I also wanted to you know, make a difference and, and and help people and I think that's probably a pretty consistent thing with a lot of um, health professionals is we do want to help people and that's obviously the main main reason for our for our job. Hello my name is Kylie Mortlock I'm a born and bred local here in Maryborough and I work at the Maryborough District Health Service. I'm currently a Grade 2 physiotherapist and I've been working here for approximately 20 years on and off. Initially I was actually wanting to do special education teaching and I had a real passion for helping kids with disabilities. Um, however, when I looked at the pathway of that I didn't think it was going to suit me at the time and during work experience that I did at a special school I actually discovered physiotherapy and occupational therapy and that led me to um, take this pathway. I actually then spent a year overseas as an exchange student in Asia and when I came back I completed my year 12 and was lucky enough to be accepted into physiotherapy. Back then it was only at the La Trobe University in Melbourne was the only place you could do physiotherapy. So I trundled off down to Melbourne being a country girl and really enjoyed my time down there in the city. And after four years I came out with my Bachelor of Physiotherapy degree. From there I then worked in rehab so I went to the Queen Elizabeth Centre in Ballarat, a rural area. I, I was really passionate about rural health. I worked there for approximately four years before I decided it was time to settle back in my hometown and came back here to work at the Maryborough Health Service. So I've always worked here as a physio in many different areas. There's a great scope of practice for physios. Um, we can work with pe people that are acutely unwell. We work with people that are in the nursing homes and probably one of my loves with physio is doing prevention work, like talking to people about leading happy, healthy lifestyles that um, can make them stay as independent as possible in the community. We also work closely with speech therapists or speech pathologists with lots of different sorts of clients. We work with dietitians, we work with social workers, we work closely with community health nurses um, and exercise physiologists have been another um, group of workers that have come into our workforce. They've just made our job a lot, a lot easier by helping us do our job as well. So exercise physiologists can run exercise groups, they can give people exercise programs once I've actually had a diagnosis. So we can work closely with them in that if we diagnose a condition with a patient, um, we then refer them to the exercise physiologist to do their follow-up exercise program and work. So we are a small team here, but we work very closely together 
and I think it's a really good, really good place to work. I can't see myself working anywhere else but here in the country um, and the Maribyrnong District Health Service is a really important place in the community for us to continue to help people live independently. Thank you.